As the death toll from the Maui fires climbs, first responders are searching for the missing. We are also hearing stories from survivors who were able to escape. Maui resident Pamela Reeder sent us these photos. She, her husband, and their two daughters were able to escape. Their house was burned down, and she says one of her friends still cannot locate his parents. Those pictures are tough to look at. Pamela joins us now. Pamela, I'm so sorry for everything that you've been going through. Can you just tell me a little bit about how you and your family are doing right now? Thank you. Um, we are doing okay. We are safely in a rental in South Maui, which is on the other side of the island. And we're just being surrounded by a lot of love and support, which is helping tremendously. So we're doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those pictures are really tough to look at. I, I understand that one of your friends still cannot find their parents. What can you tell us about that? That's right. Um, they abandoned their car is all we know, mm -hmm. and they cannot find them in any of the um, shelters or anything. So they're just holding out hope that they might be somewhere without phone service or just um, a lot of people are really out of sorts right now that had escaped. So they're just holding on to hope right now. Pamela, when I when I look at these pictures and I hear stories like that, it just brings me back to 2018. Um, I was covering the Paradise Fire in California, and there were so many people searching for loved ones. And you know, just looking at these pictures is so reminiscent of that. You're a real estate broker, and I know you understand. You know, when you when you look out at the landscape there, there's there's nothing left. I, I'm curious what's going through your mind in terms of just the rebuilding process and what it's going to look like there in Hawaii. Well, you know, Lahaina is a historic town and it is somewhere where I think so many of us have just felt so blessed to live mm -hmm. every single day. I've been a Maui resident now for 22 years and we just want to rebuild. We know it's a harrowing road ahead of us, but it is such a special place that, you know, I mean, it is crazy. Five minutes north, it looks like nothing happened. Mm. And, um, you know, this our whole town's gone. It's insane. <laughs> I'm just seeing some pictures I haven't seen before here. So, um, yeah, I mean, the hope is we will rebuild sooner than later. Obviously, there's a long road ahead, and it's just surreal right now. I mean, my whole neighborhood's gone. My whole community are places we go to eat dinner, where my daughters get ice cream, and... So yeah, we're just, we're devastated. And, but, um, and how about where them. your daughters go to school? So um, we are very fortunate. My daughter's school, Maui Prep, is about 20 minutes north of Lahaina and it is unscathed. It is wow. also where my husband works. They are the only school in West Maui that's opening. And so they are doing everything they can to admit as many students as humanly possible. Um, all the public schools in West Maui had gotten a notice that for right now, uh, luckily, uh, Princess Nahiana and uh, the Lahaina Intermediate School and Lahaina Luna are all still standing, but they're obviously in a in pictures like you're looking. They're right close to these areas, so they can't open anytime soon. And then we did lose an elementary school and a Catholic school. So anyway, Maui Prep is opening its doors. You know, we have teachers at our school, like my husband that lost their homes. Um, it is a tuition-based school, so they've actually cr uh, created a disaster relief fund because they have to be able to pay the teachers in this horrible time, but they also want to meet the community where the need is. And, um, you know, we are a really small school, so we're going to be busting at the seams, but I think it's obviously going to be well worth it and hopefully get as many kids back to normal as possible. Absolutely. So we're actually supposed to start school Monday. Oh, wow. Which seems crazy, but we're going to try. Yeah, it seems like a daunting task at this point, but glad to hear that the school is unscathed. Pamela, some of the residents have discussed receiving little warning before the fires. I'm curious, did your family have any warning? Um, technically, no. There was no evacuation order, nothing. I will say it happened so fast that 
I don't know what could have been done, although maybe the sirens is what, you know, one thing. I will say a Maui County lifeguard who we're friends with, Anthony Cappadonia, he came to our house and told us it's time to go. And um, my husband's an actual ocean lifeguard in the Hamptons every summer. And so he heard his friend tell him to get out. And that's what I think made my husband leave when we did. Um, so we are very grateful to Anthony. He had been on a bicycle driving around our neighborhood, just telling people to get out covered in soot. And I think that's what made people take him seriously. He was clearly near the fire and, and we knew it was coming closer. And then by the time we got to our car, which wasn't that far, but when we got to the car, we saw flames, maybe a block and a half away, two blocks away. Wow. Sounds like your guardian angel. We're so, so thankful that you and your family made it out. We are thinking of you and everybody Thank you. there. Thank you so much, Pamela. Thank you. So